Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Monday, April 27th, and our Bible lesson today is about a lost lamb. Once there was a shepherd who took care of 100 sheep. Each sheep had a name, and when the shepherd talked to them, he would call them by name. Every morning, the shepherd took his sheep to the pasture to find fresh green grass to eat and cool still water to drink. As the shepherd led his sheep to the fields, he would look around to make sure there weren't any holes in the path that the sheep could step into and hurt their legs. He would make sure the path was wide enough for the sheep to walk on so they wouldn't fall down a mountainside. Sheep cannot see very far ahead of them, so the shepherd would show them where to go. He made sure that no lions, bears, or other wild animals were hiding in the bushes or behind trees waiting for a little lamb that might be lost. He used his rod and staff to protect his sheep against wild animals. He always kept his eyes and ears open for any sign of danger. He loved his sheep very much. Sometimes a lamb would not obey the shepherd. The lamb would go off wherever it wanted to go. Each time the shepherd would call him back, if the lamb did not come back, the shepherd would go look for him. One day, a little lamb did not obey the shepherd. He wandered off by himself. So little by little, he moved away from his mother, and little by little, he moved away from the shepherd. Pretty soon, he was running around having the best time when, all of a sudden, he could not see his mother and he could not see the shepherd. He looked here, he looked there, he could not find the shepherd. What would he do? He was scared, he was lost. The other sheep were tired. They had been out in the fields all day. The shepherd gathered them together to go back to the sheepfold. As they went into the fold, he counted them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, until he got to 100. 100 sheep. Yes, that's how many I have, the shepherd would say to himself. But when he counted his sheep this time, do you know what? There were only 99. 99 sheep. What happened? Something is wrong. One little lamb is gone. One little lamb is lost. Oh, said the shepherd, I must find my little lost lamb. Up the path he went, back to the field, calling the little lost lamb. Little lamb, little lamb. But the lamb was not there. The shepherd's feet slipped and slid over the rocks along the path. Sharp thorns stuck him as he brushed against the bushes. Little lamb, little lamb. Suddenly, the shepherd heard something. Ba! Little lamb, he called out again. Ba! Here I am, shepherd. Here I am. I'm stuck in a thorn bush. Oh, little lamb, I have found you, said the shepherd. Don't cry, he said as he bent over a huge rock and saw his little lamb stuck fast in a thorn bush. I am here, you are safe now. How happy the little lamb was. He had been lost, but now he was found. The little lamb was shivering as the shepherd picked him up and held him close. How safe and warm the little lamb felt. How happy he was that he had a shepherd who loved him so very much. Home we go, said the shepherd as he patted the little lamb. When they got home, the shepherd checked the little lamb that had been lost. The little lamb had scratches all over him. The shepherd put oil on the little lamb's sores. He cleaned the thorns and sticks out of his wool. He gave him a drink of water and held him close until he went to sleep. As the little lamb lay in the shepherd's arms, he said to himself, I will obey my shepherd from now on.
Who does the shepherd in this story remind you of? Yes, Jesus. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd, and we are like that little lost sheep. Jesus wants every boy and girl, man and woman, to come to him. He said that even the angels in heaven rejoice when one lost person comes to him. Let's thank him for loving us so much. Okay, let's pray together. Shake it out, shake it out. Give him a great big clap. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for always taking care of us. And we give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let's review our Bible card for this week. Okay, this is Bible card 25. Okay, and Bible card 25 says, Honor thy father and thy mother. Exodus 20, 12. Okay, let's say that again together. Honor thy father and and thy mother, Exodus 20, 12. Okay, and that's our Bible story for Monday. Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Friday, May 1st, and our Bible lesson today is about the prodigal son. There once was a man with two sons. They lived on a good farm with many servants. The younger son should have been happy, but he wasn't. He wanted to live his life his own way instead of doing what his father wanted. The younger son knew that someday his father would die and everything his father owned would be given to him and his brother. The younger son did not want to wait. He wanted to have his share right then. The younger son said to his father, Father, give me my money now. The father did as the son asked and gave him the money that was his share. The younger brother packed his clothes and left home. The younger brother went to a faraway city and began to waste all the money his father had given him. After a while, the younger brother ran out of money. He could no longer buy all the things he wanted and he couldn't even pay for what he needed. Then a famine came to the country where the young man was living. Now a famine is a time when there is not enough food for the people to eat. The young man became very hungry. So he went to work feeding pigs. The young man was so hungry that as he fed the pigs, their food started to look good to him. He was so hungry that he was willing to eat pig's food. The young man finally realized how wrong he had been. He said to himself, The servants in my father's house have more food than they can eat, and here I am, hungry. I will go back to my father and say, Father, I've sinned against God and against you. I'm not worthy to be your son anymore, but I'd like to be one of your servants. The young man left the pigs and started going home. He did not have nice, fancy clothes anymore. He had on dirty, rag clothes from working with the pigs. He did not look like the rich man he had been when he left home. After a long, long, long walk, the younger son got close to home. He looked towards his home and saw something very strange. His father had left the house and was running to meet him. The younger son thought that his father would hate him for what he had done, but his father came running up to him, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. The son said, Oh, father, I've sinned against God and against you. I'm not worthy to be your son anymore. But before he could finish, his father called out to the serpent, Quickly! Bring the best robe in the house and put it on my son. Get a ring for his hand and sandals for his feet. Go fix a wonderful meal and let's celebrate. My son was lost, but now he is found. The celebration began 
there was so much noise with the music and laughter that the older brother, who had been working out in the fields, heard it. He called one of the servants and asked, What's going on? Your brother has come home, the servant answered. Your father has made a great celebration because he has come home safely. Jesus told this story to teach an important lesson. God loves every person, even when they have done wrong, like the younger son. God is like the father. God loves us and forgives us when we are sorry for doing wrong. Okay, let's pray together. Shake it out, shake it out. Give them a great big clap. Heavenly Father, thank you that even when we do wrong, all we have to do is say we're sorry, and you are always quick to forgive us. Thank you for being so kind and loving. And we give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, and Bible Core 25 says, Honor thy father and thy mother. Exodus 20, 12. Okay, let's say that again together. Honor thy father and thy mother. Exodus 20, 12.